please put the camera down now or I'll have my court officer confiscate it. Your Honor, why are you yelling at me? The Supreme Court clearly states I can do that. Your own doorway says I could do that. You're doing it to me, and I checked with your clerk. And I'm also going to wonder what made you run out of the courtroom like that today. You were in such a haste. I am collapsing the CQV trust. Okay, we will take a brief which you have, recess. Which you have charged. Time we will resume with as the there is no value in the trust. You have committed fraud on the court. Did you not create controversy? Um, you're fired. Okay. I was going to be up with the judge, I'm afraid. The judge appointed me, and only the judge can take me out of the case. If she wants to do that, that's fine. He's fired, too. I do not consent. Thank you. Yes, did Your you, Honor. Did you get judicial permission to uh, photograph in here this morning? Your Honor, I checked with the clerk's office. I did there indeed. Is, there is a procedure that must be followed. Well, I checked on the procedure, Your Honor, and I've done this a million times. I used to be an attorney myself, and I checked, duly checked everyone, and there was never an issue presented. Did you check the court rules, sir? I've checked the court rules. I've done this many times in and many New Hampshire. I something in writing from you indicating a request to... A uh, photograph this morning's proceedings filed in advance of the hearing? Well, Your Honor, that rule is not always followed, and I did well, check. Sir, I checked with the clerk this morning, Your Honor, with all due respect, Your Honor. The clerk has no right to issue an order, so please put the camera down now, or I'll have my court officer confiscate it. Now, that was a very strange outburst from the court, and it really wasn't called for. So I thought about that as I headed back to Boston this afternoon. What could make the judge change the way she did? because there was no problem with me in the courtroom earlier until things got salty and the defendant started waving around blue pieces of paper and talking about appointing her as trustee and things of that nature anyway the rules as you see them clearly provide that uh, you know I should be allowed access and they also provide that there should be some type of advance notice which is what I gave to your clerk who then stated to me there was no problem so if there was a problem your honor you need to make that clear with your clerk and stop blaming me for any of the problems that you have in your courtroom thank you So why are you tripping? I mean, it's not like you didn't see me. A black man walks into your courtroom in Milford, New Hampshire, with you know, tweed pants, an orange jacket, a purple shirt, a fedora, and a 550 millimeter zoom camera on him, and you didn't notice me? Everybody noticed me in the courtroom. Everybody knew I was there. I, I knew a cop who was there. We were talking outside. He knows me from courtroom experience. What was your problem today? Please explain it to me, Your Honor. I do. State versus John Ingress. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Ingress, would you come forward, sir, and join us? Are you us? saying that the trust you are administering is the John Ingress Trust? Mr. Ingress, if you'd come up, sir, and stand beside Attorney David Al. John Ingress is in the court. That's you, judge as trustee. You are John Ingress today, aren't you? Attorney David Al. Yes, sir. Uh, before we go any further, I need to know who you are. I am Judge Crocker, right here. Thank you, Clerk. Are you the CQV trustee who has appointed this judge as administrator and trustee of the Constructive Trust, case number 458-2010-CR-01203? Mr. Attorney David Al, your motion for competency evaluation is... Uh, Granted, and we will make we will ensure that before Mr. David Al, uh, Mr. David Al, before Attorney Ingress is back before the court, that we're 
uh, sure that he understands the workings of the court. Clerk, did you also uh, appoint the me, prosecutor Ms. as executor of this Mr. constructive Ingress, trust? Mr. Ingress. You are the excuse trustee. Me, Mr. Ingress. And Mr. are you Ingress, not the executor? Mr. Ingress. I'm the beneficiary. Well, and I authorize you to handle the accounting and dissolve this constructive trust. Mr. Ingress. I now claim my Mr. body. Mr. Ingress, I will As I am collapsing the CQV trust, okay, we will take a brief which you have, which you have charged, time we will resume with as the there is no value in the right. You have committed fraud on the court. Did you not create controversy? Can you talk here? Well, Mr. Ingress, it's personal to your case. I don't think you want to do that in public. I'd like to bring a court report to the uh, reporter. Mr. Ingress, I just want to let you know that the court is ordering you to speak to a state psychiatrist before this case goes I don't consent. Further. I'm afraid it's a court order. I'm afraid I don't consent to the court order. There are consequences when you don't consent to a court order. There are consequences when a higher law is violated by pretend authorities Mr. Harris, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Probably not best to have this conversation at this moment. Would Please there feel be... free to make a converse, make an appointment to talk to me at my office. Would he have the opportunity to uh, have alternate uh, position counsel? Would he have the opportunity to have an alternate position to issue an opinion on that as well? If he's I ordered can't to talk to anybody else about his case. Now, with all due respect, counselor, it's not about your client's case. I'm asking about the procedure in general. Anytime you you know agree with a cop that somebody needs to be subject to a psychiatric evaluation, I need to know what the process is. Well, if he authorizes it, then certainly if you waive confidentiality, you could, right? Do you want to waive confidentiality? Hmm? Do you want to waive confidentiality? Sure. Sure, well, why don't you waive confidentiality then? Uh, counsel, Mr. Uh, well, I can't leave the court right now. He, he's waived confidentiality, counsel, so did you have any comment that, you know, notwithstanding that? I beg your pardon? Competency is an issue, so therefore, I understand your position, counsel. So this waiver, to me, is not effective. But he's not been yet declared incompetent, has he? No, he hasn't. Okay. I understand, counsel. Thank you.